gonna be fun. That green paint holds its value, huh? Yeah. Y'all are amazing. This one goes out to the potato farmers. Just doing my part here. Ha not hacking anything. Oh, I'm not hacking limbs this time. She wants to do it herself. He's thinking about it. All right, what's a question for daddy? The key and we had one 16 horsepower tractor. What do you call a happy farmer? That was oh. Get up here A marvelous muddy Monday. <laughs> I just got out and fed the group of girls, which is very muddy. He said he could handle these too. These are the misfits. Yeah. A lot of the misfits. A couple steers that just didn't match the others, so we're feeding them for now. <gasps> um, anywho, we had another two tenths of rain. So, and there's possibly more coming. Who knows what the storms are gonna do or bring. Really, really concerned for the Gulf Coast right now. That's not good, but anyway. It will be what it will be, I reckon. Spraying some weeds this morning. He sprayed a lot yesterday. I'm trying to get these fence rows under control. And he did some bush hogging, so that's good. Um. Some of y'all have asked about this spray system. This is it. He can probably tell you more. <laughs> Just have it hooked up. Is there anything special about it or where'd you get it? People have asked what it is and how, you know. This is 12 volt sprayer. 12 volt, 25 gallon sprayer. It works good. So we, we use it interchangeably for weed control and fly control. Yeah, so, I mean, it works good for us. It's got it hooked up through here. This is the on and off. And we just keep it in the back of the mule. Ow. Mm. I gotta get my little foam piece put back. gonna be fun. You see that? Mm. Oh boy. Okay, I gotta put this away. Maybe. Mud season. In August. Which is very weird. <laughs> uh, Lord said this is like the wettest August he can remember in a long, long time. So that's not that's not a terrible thing because usually it's dry, really dry. So we actually have some grass in August, which is odd. Um, and we have some mud, <gasps> just a little bit. Oh golly. Uh, we really need to cut that Sudan, um, but there's a chance of rain all week, and uh, I don't know. We'll see. That is next on the list, though, to cut the Sudan, and then we'll be prepping for corn silage. Um, sometime soon. He said it's it looks okay in some spots and it doesn't look so good in others, but he said the ears aren't going to be very big. Um, but anyway, we'll get what we get and then it'll be bean time. So we got a busy four to six weeks coming up on top of everything else. I've got to start school. Our kids, we homeschool. I'm going to go home and really try to buckle down on getting that figured out. We changed our curriculum this year. We're doing a whole new thing and I gotta get I gotta get my ducks in a row. So anyway, a lot going on. Mm. Come on, buddy. That one more time. Go ahead. Is it, is it? What'd you just tell Austin? Same mouth. I said, I bought, when I got out of high school, I bought a 1975 
John Deere 4030. I give 13,000 for it, brand stinking new. And this one's for sale for 15,000. That one's got 5,800 hours on it, <laughs> 15,000. Two more thousand and it costs brand new. That green paint holds its value, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you like it oh good okay so i did something different tonight i took beef stew and i cut it up really thin and i smothered it in this new y'all did you know there's a new musket powder it's brown label um and i smothered mm -hmm. it in that and i cooked it in the skillet you agree too okay good i cooked some onions and peppers and we're gonna do like philly cheese steak so yeah okay winning we're winning you look cute in your glasses i'm gonna start wearing them a little more she got them several months ago but she has not been wearing them and today she had a bad headache so we're gonna see if that helps all right y'all are amazing i just posted my other youtube video sharing about the derecho relief i know i might be saying that wrong forgive me if i am I posted about it, Lawrence, listen to this. I posted about it and told them that they could still give through my PayPal. Hold on. In the last two hours, I've gotten almost $2,000 from viewers. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. <laughs> $2,000 in like two hours. Some of y'all from $5 to $500. I've had a couple $500 donations yeah i know they appreciate it i know i do so y'all are amazing that's all period i love you thank you stop I'm moving it out of the mud because that makes sense come on babies this one. It's going to be another warm one. It's really hot this morning already. We got in a little bit of mud this morning. So he's cleaning the tires. I said it was hot and it is in the sun, but there's actually a really nice breeze this morning. So according to the weather, Laura, the worser, did that make some people cringe? The worser storm is a couple, it's probably, I don't know, could, it looks like it's gonna make a, a turn to the right and come up uh, last night, it, Lawrence said on the late news it showed it coming right over us, but this morning it shows it north of us. I don't know. We're going to get some rain, it looks like, Friday and or Saturday. Friday and Saturday. We'll see. Really hope it's not, not terrible for where it makes landfall. It looks like it could get stronger. That's scary for that, that Gulf area, Galveston area. And up into uh, Little Rock, I think it showed. Not good. So, prayers for all of those people. You, if you're in that path, stay safe. Just hope and pray it's not bad. <laughs> okay, we're rolling on with homeschool. This little girl is getting it done today. Today's lesson in grammar is about sentences and fragments and she had to write some sentences <laughs> this one goes out to the potato farmers and her great granddaddy my granddaddy was a potato farmer and i feel like he would truly appreciate this if he was here so she had to write a complete sentence <laughs> she had to finish a sentence this is one the end of the sentence says eat potatoes every day she started it with normal people eat potatoes every day <laughs> Okay. Smashed are my favorite kind of potatoes. Big potatoes make the best french fries. That's good. I love it. Potato farms grow nice, healthy potatoes. That's good. That's a good sentence. Potatoes are delicious. So, there you go. To all the potato farmers in the world, you have our 110 support, right?
We love potatoes because they also go very well with what? Beef. Beef. <laughs> yes. Okay. Just doing my part here <laughs> to raise meat and potato eaters. <laughs> Show everybody a pretty new collar. She didn't need one and she hadn't lost her other one, but I saw this turquoise collar today for four buckaroos and I decided she needed a pretty new collar that looked more girly and it's my favorite color, so. So I'm cooking and um, <clears throat> I'm just thinking all the things. So this is just gonna be a very talkative video not very exciting every day cannot be wastings and shock treatment and and bulls and cows and stuff i'm sorry it's just not every day around here so i did want to remind you though that farm journal field days right here is going on and yours truly with some friends is live on there now on demand you can watch whenever you want three different videos three count them three and guess how much it cost nothing it's totally free to watch three actually there's tons of videos there's lots of good information i am asking you to go watch it would make me so happy if you would go see all the time and effort that was put into those videos <laughs> seriously it would make me really happy so there's a link in the description, farmjournalfielddays.com. You can register and it'll take you right into the farm show, the virtual farm show, and you can go watch my videos. One is all about hacks, hacks, like ha not hacking anything. Oh, I'm not hacking limbs this time, just hacks for life and the farm and the kitchen and even the bathroom. <laughs> Yeah, um, maybe I'll show you a little clip here in a minute. And then um, there's one about balancing the imbalance of life. When we wear all the hats, that goes for women and men. That's with my friend, Natalie Kvorik from the Kvoriks and our friend, Dr. Marissa Hake. And then there's another one on overcoming obstacles with harmless farmer, Andy Detweiler and our friend, Amanda Nig. So that's it y'all. Oh, this silly phone. So, that's that. If you would go watch, I would appreciate it. And you can come back and let me know what your favorite thing was or not your favorite thing. Because I usually don't, a lot of times I don't have to ask for your opinion and you give it to me anyway. So, <laughs> I'm asking. Go watch and report back and tell me what, what you learned or hopefully you, you were encouraged or whatever. Okay, I'm done talking. I'm gonna finish up supper. Write it down, that's not beef, that's pork. Got pork from our friends that bought steers from us. So I cooked some sausages and I'm doing this. And then I'm gonna put it on some bread with some cheese and uh, some french fries and we're gonna call it supper. So that's what we're doing. Daddy, I got it. She wants to do it herself. Girls, you're looking good. Mama's to be. And it won't be long before we start calving, y'all. That starts in October. Woo, where does a year go? I don't know. Sure does go fast, though. Panda, I sure hope you got a little panda in you. Look at her, bossy. <laughs> Good morning, Jingo. I know, it's still a little skittish. Wesley's already fed him, but the kids have been coming out here and spending more time with him. And they said he was letting them pet him, but I haven't been spending much time with him. So he's probably not gonna let me, hopefully soon. 
Right, buddy? Did you eat all your breakfast? You ate most of it. You ate most of it. <sighs> He's thinking about it. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Come here. Thinking about it. I'm really thinking about it. Hey, sugar boga. Yeah. Come here. Maybe before long. <laughs> now he's coming up there. Okay, we just finished supper and I've talked a whole lot in this video and I know y'all would rather listen to somebody else talk. Yeah. So, I had this great idea. Well, my son actually did. He thought he could ask his dad a couple questions that you might want to know that he might not know. So, we're just going to do that and Lawrence is going to humor me for just a couple minutes and then we're done. We're done. Okay. All right. What's a question for daddy? Um, Forgotten. No. You said when he started farming? Oh, yeah. Uh, how many cows did you have when you started farming? When did you start farming? This farm? Well, yeah. You've always lived here. <laughs> I've, I've been farming all my life. Since I was big enough to do anything. But <clears throat> we started off when I was a kid. My daddy had uh, mostly hauling and Herefords. And we probably had about 20 or 25 hauling and Herefords. And then we kind of switched over to pole Herefords. And then, as we got older, we got, we had a whole lot of Hosting and Angus Cross for Mama Cow. And then we went to uh, Simita, I mean, uh, Charlotte, Char we got a Charlotte bull, and that was a mistake. He was gentle as he could be, and the cows were gentle, but then you'd have calves, two or three calves in the herd was like deer. And then we went to red limousine, Ow. and black limousine bulls, mm -hmm. and then we went to Simital bull, and we got them mama cows up there, 1,800 pounds, and they would wean a calf at five or six months old, weighing 700, 750, but it cost too much to feed the mama. And then we started breeding Angus bull, and I've been trying to get the cows back down, and now we probably got on the average 13, 14, 1,500 pound mama cows instead of 1,800 pound mama cows. Mm. But when I started, when we was a kid, we had one 16 horsepower tractor with a 40 John Deere. <laughs> and we had a mule and a horse. <laughs> That's a mule as in a four-legged mule. Right. <laughs> we, we, uh, let's see, when I was, I think I was about, Nine years old, we got a 1010 John Deere diesel. Supposed to be the size track that it was, but that was the best one ever made. And then when I was 11, the farm that I own now, the, the man that owned it, he bought a M new. We bought that from him. And we got a three bottom trailer type John Deere plow the best plow and plow I ever made, and a double gang tailor way bog, pool type bog. And then when I got out of high school, that's when I bought the 40 30. And when you got out of high school? Mm hmm. And you bought it yourself? Yeah. How'd you pay for it? I'd saved up my money. Oh. And, uh, <laughs> Did he, did he talk junk about buying a new tractor? And anyway, I kept it, I don't know, a little over a year. It, never, it was supposed to be like an 80 horsepower tractor, but the M, when I pull it, was working. 
Uh, even out flat, I'd be pulling the four bottom 14, did pulling that three bottom 16. And he would out plow more land in a day than I could with the 40 30. Anyway, I sold it back to the dealer. And then me and him bought a, went to Godly Auction down in Charlotte and bought a tricycle 40 20, smoking like a freight train. <laughs> he burned a gallon and a half all the day. We used it to that one year into that fall and then overhauled it and we kept it till we thought we wore it out but it's still running today the fellas bought it uh mr jackson up there he still got it <laughs> and in the meantime we bought a 43 20 and then I bought another 4320, and then I bought another 4320, and then bought the two 4440s. That was a lot of tractor history. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> and cow history. I didn't realize all those, I didn't realize you'd had all these different breeds here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but like I say, it's been angles for, well, the last. 25 years, I think. Hmm. 20, 25. And we, we do that because we get a premium for black-hided cattle in this part of the world. Yeah. For one reason. That's the main reason. You get across the Mississippi, it don't make no difference if you're red and white, red and white. When you pull a hide off of them, you can't hardly tell the difference. I know, but... For some reason we get docked if they're not black, so. Anyway, that's what we do. You have anything you want to ask him? We're at five minutes and 30 seconds already. Mm -mm. No? You could have said, what do you call a happy farmer? What do you call a happy farmer? A oh. jolly rancher. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. We'll see you next time. Farm hard, live well. <laughs> Come on, both of you. Oh, Get up here and talk to me. You're so rotten. Come here, Carol. Who's rotten? <laughs> Gus and Clara are so rotten. Where's Bonnie? Oh. Why did I ask? She's right here with me, of course. <laughs> this is my girl. <laughs>